The Wallace Collection is a national museum inside a historic London townhouse on Manchester Square. The collection showcases an impressive variety of art that was amassed during the 18th and 19th centuries by the first four Marquesses of Hertford and Sir Richard Wallace, the son of the fourth Marquess. Over 5,500 works of art are preserved for current and future generations to enjoy in accordance with the bequest of Lady Wallace on her death in 1897. That's beautiful, all the detail on the barge. The sheer range and the volume of art on display is breathtaking. Very beautiful painting, that. Yeah, um... And nowhere is this more apparent than upon entering the Great Gallery. Wow, that's amazing. Newly refurbished in 2014, it contains one of the finest collections of old master paintings in the world. The Rubens painting, The Rainbow, is an homage to the Netherlands tradition of landscape painting. When it was put up for sale in 1856, Sir Charles Eastlake tried to purchase it for the National Gallery, but was outbid by the fourth Marquis, who paid over 4,500 guineas to secure the painting for this collection. The Laughing Cavalier is an exuberant half-length portrait by Franz Hals, painted in 1624. He's looking at me. I feel like he's looking at me. The work is unique for the rich colour and detail that is largely imparted by the sitter's flamboyant costume, embroidered with lace and fanciful motifs in white, gold and red threads. The study, which is often referred to as the Marie Antoinette room, is the feminine and opulent boudoir style room in which you will find more pieces of her furniture than in any other room in the world, as well as artwork and personal effects that once belonged to the Queen. With her reputation for extravagance and frivolity, you can find the evidence of the Queen's exquisite taste in the many items on display here which include John Henry Reisner, one of the most accomplished makers of Louis XVI furniture and a particular favourite of Marie Antoinette. The smoking room exhibits paintings and works of art from the medieval and Renaissance periods and includes the greater part of Sir Richard Wallace's Italian Renaissance Maiolica. Originally, the room had a sumptuous oriental interior with walls lined with Turkish tiles made by the Minton factory of Stoke-on-Trent. And a small section of this original interior survives today in an alcove at the north end of the room. Not only was this highly fashionable, but it was also practical as it ensured the smell of smoke did not linger in any fabric furnishings. The armories house both European and Oriental arms and armour ranging from the 10th to the 19th century. In the three European rooms, you will find armour, sporting guns, rifles and pistols all dating from the 16th to the 19th centuries. And in the Oriental section, you can discover extremely fine Persian, Turkish, Balkan and Arabic weapons and armour displayed, representing one of the finest collections in Britain. Because of the nature of the Wallace collection not being lent, changed or added to, if you want to see any of these works of art, you can only ever see them here at Hartford House in Marylebone. <laughs>